I'm Sally W. And I'm the very proud grandmother of my favorite modern poet, Lydia H. <laughs> Her very proud grandfather, Jim W., is sitting right there. Here's a poem called Introduction to Poetry by Billy Collins. 2001-2003 U.S. Poet Laureate and my second favorite modern poet. You'll see why later I'm reading this now. I ask them to take a poem and hold it up to the light like a color slide or press an ear against his hive. I say drop a mouse into the poem and watch him probe his way out or walk inside the poem's room and feel the walls for a light switch. I want them to water ski across the surface of a poem, waving at the author's name on the shore. But all they want to do is tie the poem to a chair with rope and torture a confession out of it. They begin beating it with a hose to find out what it really means. That was Billy Collins. Jim and I Jim and I moved from Illinois to Arizona in August of 2012. I think we experienced our first type slam in late spring of 2013, and it blew our socks completely off. <laughs> We've come to regard type slams as festivals celebrating a love of words and their inherent fascination. Types poets are nothing like the students in the Billy Collins poem. You wouldn't hesitate to drop a mouse, a javelina, a cactus, or even a pomegranate into a poem, just to see what would happen. You are the light switch in the poem's room. You would never beat a poem with a hose to find out what it really means. You are what it really means. This community of poets is impossible to describe to anyone who hasn't experienced it. The monthly gathering at Bentley's always sizzles with energy and crackles with excitement about making words leap, dance, and do backflips through flaming hoops. I have loved words and worked with them for just about all my life. Family lore has it that when I was about five, I drove my own personal mother almost around the bend by singing for two straight weeks at the top of my lungs the word I thought was the most beautiful of all I had ever heard, saliva. <laughs> I know you've sung words you've found beautiful too. For several years, the most beautiful word in both sound and meaning to me is family but I promise not to sing it now. <laughs> when I can't find a word that says what I want it to, I invent one, and I know you do too. I admire your fearlessness. I admire your affection and respect for one another. I admire your ability to articulate worries and vanquish them in your poems. I admire you. <laughs> when I'm here with you, I feel like part of the Types family and I love it. Thank you.